Hello everyone, Mad Game Guy here, and welcome to a Forza 5 video. Uh, this is just a quick little uh, five laps, I believe it was, with the Mazda 787B around the Top Gear test track. And what a monster this is. I, this is one of my favourite cars on Forza, if no one knows. Probably no one does know, but uh, yeah, it's one of my favourites. I've just done this quick little video to uh, say that, yeah, the Forza videos are going to be coming back. And that, depend um say what you want to see really like I'm I'm waiting on suggestions from you guys like I like these sort of styles like just getting a replay to it I tried to do some Norse life for replay but the car just got completely wrecked all the time and it didn't look good so I thought I'd just do a few little laps around here but uh just g tell me what you want to see <laughs> like because I'm sort of stuck for ideas on what to do on Forza now because the uh the career mode is like eh it's alright I could do God, look at that, that's like 170 miles an hour through there. But uh, yeah, just tell, just tell me what you want to see, guys, because uh, I don't know. <laughs> On Forza, like, I could make some cards that are just ridiculously, like, got such high horsepower and very low grip, if you know what I mean. Just, like, very small cars with lots of horsepower. Or I could do, like, challenges to see what cars I can get around each trip, like, around the tracks faster. Like, I can make a track a certain, like, a certain track mine. And I'll just do laps after laps and get times and stuff from. Yeah, there is one. But talking about this gameplay, if you just noticed there, the car was making a lot of tire screech noises. Um, this car's running without the restrictor plates in it, so it's about 720 horsepower. Uh, the widest tires it can and maximum downforce, but it just still wants to push out wide sometimes, which is a bit odd. And I'd struggle to get power, as you see, like how much it twitched. But, uh. Look at that. Bit. I had to break there just because it's it's one of them calls you have to hit perfect or you can't go flat out for it. You'll just understand why. I think I need to do a bit of setup with the uh, toes and the cambers and the anti roll bars and stuff. But look at that, just absolutely flat. Brakes still glowing red. It's one. It's my all time favourite car. It's just the noise of it. Like if I'm quite here, God, it's like an old Formula One car. But uh, if you guys don't know, this is. This one, Le Mans, in its year, I can't remember what it was, I think it was 93, I think. Don't quote me on that, but yeah, look, the understeer, but uh, yeah, because it, it's a Mazda, it, it ran the rotary engine, and straight after the race, it got banned for next year. It's just such a fast car, so much grip, so much power. See, look, it just it likes to understeer, I don't know why, but yeah, look, bit of oversteer kick in there. But it just grips and grips. I mean, look at it. Flat out. Flat out still here. God. Imagine that. Just sitting that in real life. That would be absolutely mental. Very. This last corner, the top, the second to last corner, is a bit of a tricky one. You have to. You turn in so early, thinking that you're gonna hit the wall on the inside, but you end up. You don't. You just keep. You end up hitting the. Uh, you end up clipping it half and half. But it's, this corner's a bit of a pain. As you see, I take quite a tight line into it, but some people swing proper wide out and duck in. But I prefer a bit of the tighter line, especially in these. In the other car, in other cars, I prefer the uh, I prefer a bit of a, a wider line and cut in. But yeah, look, the understeer again feels up to feels about 150 mile an hour. It is doing by the end of this. Oh, the spit of flame! If you guys have never heard this guy in real life, go search it up. Put on on YouTube. Mazda 797B Dino Run. It's mental. It's deafening. How people used to drive these as well. It's crazy. But look at that flat out again. Understeer pulled me wide. Still kept me footing. 140, I think, came off the grass. Uh. Got it. Just the noise of this. Like, I've done. I'll probably try and do a lap around the Nurburgring. Like, yeah, the car might get wrecked, but, uh. From what I remember, my fastest lap round the Nurburgring, North, the Norschleifer circuit, uh, running manual gearbox, ABS off, traction control off, stability and stuff like that off, um, simulation damage and stuff, not simulation steering because it's a bit harder on the control for me, I don't really like it, but um, yeah, I've done like a 5 minute 57, which put me like 2,500 in the world, it's absolutely mental, like on a controller as well, but it's just this car, it's... <laughs> Can't really describe it. Like it's, you, if you guys have Fours of Five, pick this up. If you have the season pass, you'll be able to get it for free because all season pass owners get 
all the DLC cars for free. Look at that, just flat out, and then... God, it's absolutely mental, like, some, somebody's calling, like, especially on the life, for corners in this car, you think you won't be able to take them flat out, but you can. It's epic, and now just come around to the final corner, just to finish off the lap. And, uh, yeah, that's just a quick video of, uh, the Mazda round, the Top Gear test track. See, look, look how awesome it is. But, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please give it a like favorite or whatever subscribe comment do all that malarkey follow me on twitter links always in the description for it come subscribe links in the description as well for that but now there's like a little button next to it so whatever the case just if you enjoyed it like it and comment because i need to know what you guys really want to see but uh thanks for watching guys and i will see you all in the next episode see you later